Well, good morning. It is Sunday, April 17th, 2022, and it is Resurrection Sunday. It is day 40 of 40 days of prayer. Congratulations. We made it. I put on a dressy shirt. It's pink. And today we're talking about evaluate your church as we prepare to pray. Revelation 3, verses 1 through 6, we read this yesterday. I think we did. Yes, we did. Um, And uh, I'm going to read the message. And then I just want to talk about uh, perceptions and judgment. Because here's what happens. Um, People come to church. They evaluate the church. They evaluate the church based on children's ministry, preaching, friendliness, cleanliness, coffee, worship style, hundreds of, of ways in which a church can be evaluated. And that can be crushing when people don't come back. And we may then decide to evaluate our church. We evaluate our church when people leave. We say, should I stay? What's good about my church? Well, let's, let's look. This is what Jesus says. To the angel of the church in Sardis, write the words of him who has the seven spirits of God and the seven stars. I know your works. You have the reputation of being alive, but you are dead. Wake up and strengthen what remains and is about to die, for I have not found your works complete in the sight of my God. Remember, then, what you have received and heard. Keep it and repent. If you will not wake up, I will come like a thief, and you will not know at what hour I will come against you. Yet you have still a few names in Sardis, people who have not soiled their garments, and they will walk with me in white, for they are worthy. The one who conquers will be clothed thus in white garments, and I will never blot his name out of the book of life. I will confess his name before my Father and before his angels. He who has an ear, let him hear what the Spirit says to the churches. When it comes to evaluating our church, here's what we need to consider. Uh, The entire Protestant Reformation is built on a statement, I believe, a single thought from Martin Luther, who when he was told to recant of his beliefs, which were contrary to the doctrine of the Roman Catholic Church, He said, unless I'm convinced, unless I'm persuaded by scripture and by conscience, I cannot and will not recant. These these two components built his worldview and his convictions. His conscience, what he thought, how he considered what the scriptures said, and the scriptures. The scriptures convinced him And he would not be convinced otherwise unless he was convinced from the scriptures. And so here's how I think we ought to evaluate our church. Here's how we ought to evaluate church life. Here's how we ought to evaluate activities in the church. We have to condition our conscience in such a way that it's informed by scripture. And once we know what scripture says, once we can build things on scripture, then we ask ourselves if we're being faithful. Listen to what Paul says in 1 Corinthians chapter 4. I've said 1 Corinthians chapter 4 verse 2 probably hundreds of times at harvest. This is the extended section. Paul says, this is how one should regard us as servants of Christ and stewards of the mysteries of God. Moreover, it is required of stewards that they be found faithful. But with me, it is a very small thing that I should be judged by you or by any human court. In fact, I do not even judge myself, for I am not aware of anything against myself, but I am not thereby acquitted. It is the Lord who judges me. Therefore, do not pronounce judgment before the time, before the Lord comes, who will bring to light the things now hidden in darkness and will disclose the purposes of the heart. Then each one will receive his commendation from God. Someone can say, your church is not a good church, it's a bad church. Well, by what standard? By the standard of scripture? Well, then maybe we ought to take notice. By their preference? Maybe we ought to say, maybe you'll be happier somewhere else. If someone says, I'm convinced this is a better way to do something, we should say, maybe you're right, and consider it. But when it comes down to it, and we are asking the question, 
of evaluating our church, what we ought to say is, am I being faithful to what I'm convinced the Lord would have me do from Scripture? And then we walk by faith. It's required of stewards that they be faithful, and that they be faithful in the time between the Lord's resurrection and his return. And when he returns, as it says in this section, each one will receive his commendation from God. Well, I hope these 40 days have been a blessing to you. They've been an encouragement to you. Thank you for sticking them out with me and praying through this manual. I so appreciate your time and your attention. I look forward to more. Uh, I look forward to uh, going back and evaluating all these videos and, and refining them for, for use in our church and other churches. And uh, thank you. It's been an honor. Hope you have a great day. God bless you. And he is risen.